A young man with gold medal aspirations, a life full of promise, now another victim to gun violence in the city of Philadelphia. It's impacting all walks of life, including the ice skating community. Good evening, I'm Chris O'Connell. And I'm Dawn Timoney. 18-year-old Joshua Soto was a rising star, and now his parents are at a loss. Our Eddie Kadem spoke to them. He's live at the Roundhouse tonight. Such a sad story, Eddie. Yeah, it is. His parents say he was so much more than just a statistic or a number. He was somebody who was a big dreamer, who inspired others to be the best versions of themselves. My name is Joshua Anthony Soto. I'm 18 years old and I just recently graduated from high school. The people that knew Joshua best say his smile could bring warmth to even the coldest heart. He was alone to us. Um, I believe that he was given to us to, he was loaned to us, should I say, to teach us a lesson, to teach us, to show us, you know, humanity and what love and grace and mercy is all about. When that warmth hit the ice, it became a fiery passion. Joshua always said, if I saw an obstacle, I'm going to find a way. And he always found a way to be dedicated and motivated enough in himself to say, I can do it and he never lost faith in that. He was killed in a double shooting in Kensington. Police told the parents he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He built a second family on the ice and he was a rising star in the sport. A good heart goes a long way. He wrote that that very morning his life was t taken from us because he has a whiteboard. And so yeah, he wrote that um, on his whiteboard and that was his theme for today. His dream was to represent the USA in the Olympics one day. On his way to that pedestal, he wanted to bring his entire community with him. I don't want these kids to feel any type of shame or burden. And this is why I'm doing this as well, because I want to give back to them. Joshua's family set up, or Joshua's coach set up a GoFundMe for the family. We have a link on fox29.com. Another 18-year-old was also shot in this incident. Police say he was in critical condition. If you know or saw anything, reach out to police. Live at police headquarters tonight, Eddie Kadem, Fox 29 News.